Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're gonna to be testing out a new solar panel. This is the Blue Eddy PV 200 watt solar panel. Now this is a four panel design and each one of those panels are wired in parallel, which means if one of those four panels are shaded, then you're only gonna lose 25% output out of the panel. We're gonna be testing that out and we're also gonna be testing it against some other single solar panels wired in parallel to see if you're better off getting this 200 watt PV 200 panel or some single panels. And we're gonna be trying that into some different solar generators. I have the Ace Volt generator, which isn't gonna limit the power of these panels because it'll accept up to 20 amps, 500 watts of solar charging. So we'll see the full potential of this panel. And then we're gonna be trying it into the Blue Eddy EB55 to see what kind of input we can get into that. And also the Opez 1200 watt portable solar generator. So let's get into it guys. I'll leave a link down in the description. It will be an affiliate link if you guys are interested in any of this gear that I talk about or picking one of these panels up. And if I can get a coupon code, I'll leave that down there for you as well. It'll be an affiliate link. And if you guys do use that, I'll make a small commission at no extra cost to you, which is what helps support this channel and me creating these videos. So I wanna thank you guys in advance. And I do wanna disclose that Blue Eddy did send me this PV200 for testing and review. So let's get into it guys and see how it performs. And if you wanna see the full review video on any of these other panels, make sure you guys check those out because those videos are also now live. So here's the specs on the panel. It has a 200 watt peak output. It has an ETFE coating, 20.5 volts, max power, 9.7 amps, max current, 26.1 volts open circuit current and 10.3 amps short circuit current. So if you're plugging this panel into your solar generator, you just have to make sure that your solar generator will accept at least 26.1 volts of current. All right, so the first thing that's really nice about this single 200 watt panel versus the separate 120 and 100 watt panels is that this thing is super quick and easy to deploy. You don't have to worry about running wires parallel laying it together so setup is really nice on this really quick really easy versus these other single panels and if you have to move this panel around to stay in the sunlight you only have to worry about one panel you don't have to move both of your panels so a little bit easier and a little bit quicker but it is going to have a slightly bigger footprint when it is folded up than some of these other ones all right guys you can see it's a pretty bright sunny day out today and the first test we're going to do is we're going to run the blue eddy pv200 into the Blue Eddy EB55 and see what kind of output we're getting or input. So right now it's getting 144 watts. Now the max wattage that I was able to get into this from the Blue Eddy PV200 so far has been around 155 to 160 watts max. Right now it's inputting 145 watts, so pretty good there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug the two all powers panels, these are 120 watts each. We're gonna plug them into the Blue Eddy and see what kind of power we're getting. Right now I have the all powers plugged into the ACE volt and we're getting 156 watts, 155 watts versus 144 up here. But this is limited by eight amps of input and this is not. So that's why this is definitely getting more input than this, but we're gonna go ahead, swap the all powers panels into the Blue Eddy and see what kind of input we can get then. All right guys, now I got the Blue Eddy panel plugged into the ACE Volt and I'm getting 160 watts. Before I was getting 155 with the All Powers panel, so I'm getting five more watts with the Blue Eddy PV200. And I have the All Powers panels now plugged into the Blue Eddy EB55 and I'm getting 124 watts, whereas before I was getting 145. So I'm getting 22 watts less power from the all powers panels going into the Blue Eddy than I was from the Blue Eddy panel going into the Blue Eddy. So, so far the Blue Eddy panel is outperforming the all powers panels regardless if it's plugged into the Blue Eddy or into the Ace Volt. And that actually surprised me considering that these tested really well and are 120 watts output each. All right guys, I just switched them back around again. Blue Eddy panel is now going back into the Blue Eddy at 143 watts and the all powers panels are going back into the ACE Volt at 153 watts. So I was getting 160 before on this from the Blue Eddy. From the all powers I'm getting 153 and up here I was only getting 123 from the all powers and I'm getting around 142 to 144 out of the Blue Eddy. So yeah, the Blue Eddy is definitely working better with 
both of these solar generators than the two all powers panels in parallel. Now we're gonna try the two OPEZ panels and see what we can get into the Blue Eddy from those. And we're getting 115 watts out of the OPEZ panels. These are two 100 watt panels each paralleled together. And like I said, 114 to 115. So a lot less power than just the single Blue Eddy PV200. So yes, the PV200 does perform just slightly better than the All Powers and a lot better than the OPEZ panels. So now let's plug the Blue Eddy PV200 into the OPEZ 1200 watt portable solar generator and see what kind of input we can get into there versus some of these other panels. So with the two OPEZ 100 watt panels plugged into the OPEZ, we're getting between 116 to 123 watts of input into this. It been fluctuating back and forth. All right, now I have the Blue Eddy PV200 plugged into the OPEZ and we're getting 157 to 160 watts of input. So way more than the 123 that I was getting from the OPEZ panels. Now let's try the all powers panels into the OPEZ and see what we can get out of them. All right guys, so now I'm getting 165 watts of input into the OPEZ from the two all powers panels paralleled together. So very surprisingly, now the all powers panels are working a little bit better paralleled into the OPEZ than the Blue Eddy PV200. Now I have the P PV200 plugged into this one. I'm getting 160 watts input into the ACE Volt and I'm getting 165 watts of input into the OPEZ from the all powers panels. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swap the inputs on these and see what they are. All right guys, before I swap them now, they're actually very similar, 161 and 158, 159. So very, very similar in power output now between the PV200 and the all powers panels when you have one of them wired into each of these. So now I'm gonna go ahead and swap the wires over and see how it's producing. So currently the, actually the Blue Eddy into that one is producing a little bit more right now. So it's kind of back and forth, very, very close, very, very similar. So very interesting because like I said, these are 120 watts each. This one's 200 watt total. So very good performance from this PV200 panel so far. All right guys, I just swapped them out, ran the PV200 into the OPEZ and the all power is back into the ACE Volt. Let's see what we're getting. So we're getting 154 out of the PV200 and 162 out of the all powers. But it's been fluctuating and they've been very, very close, very, very similar in output now. 152, 161, 160, 161. So very, very close on output. So should you buy two separate 120 watt panels or should you buy one PV200? Now, the first thing I'm sure everyone's gonna consider is the price. So if you're gonna go with the single Blue Eddy PV200 currently on Amazon with the coupon code, it's around $450. And if you get the all powers panels off of Amazon, they'd be about $480 for both after the current coupon codes. So the PV200, is a little bit cheaper. Now the second thing you're gonna to wanna to consider is your voltage and amperage input on your solar generator. Are you going into only one solar generator or do you have multiple solar generators where you're gonna to wanna to charge more than one at a time? Now if you wanna split the panels up and charge more than one at a time, you might be better off with two separate panels, two smaller panels. But if you're only ever charging one and you want good input, easy deployment, fast and easy to move around and reposition, then I would say the single 200 watt panel would probably be a better option for you. Now let's try out the panel when it gets shaded and see how it performs when you shade each panel. All right, so I'm getting 158 watts. Let's go ahead and shade one of these panels. We'll cover it completely. And now I'm getting 115 watts, 114 watts. All right guys, now I'm shading a second panel here. And we're getting about 75 watts. So 77, 78. So yeah, guys, about 25% per panel for each panel that's shaded. So very nice that these are wired in parallel. And if one of the panels gets shaded, you don't lose all your output. On the all powers panels, if you guys seen that review video, when one of the panels is shaded, you lose pretty much all output from that one panel. For example, just that little corner there is in the shade. So this is the only panel producing power right now. And I'm getting 90 watts of input. So you could see that just because one little corner of this panel is shaded, it loses pretty much all power from that one panel. On the Blue Eddy, you only lose 
25, 50, 75, or 100, depending on how many panels are shaded. And now I slid it over so it's in the sun, and it went from 90 to 160. And now you can see I just have this little corner here of this one panel shaded, and it's still producing 103 watts of output. And now I slid it over a little bit so it's in full sun, and it's producing 153 watts now. So this panel measures 23 and a half inches high by 86 and a half inches wide when it's deployed and set up. And folded up, this panel measures 23 and a half inches by 23 inches without the handle and including the handle, it's about 25 inches high. So still pretty nice and compact. And it comes with a 12 gauge cable that has an MC4 connector on it and it's about nine and a half feet long from the panel to the connection here. Now they don't give you any additional cables or attachments. If you buy a Blue Eddy, I believe they came with that, the one that I used to plug in the Blue Eddy. So you just get bare MC4 connections, so you will need adapters to go into your solar generator. So just something to keep in mind. What's really nice about this panel is it is coated with an ETFE coating, which is a lot more durable and is gonna last a lot longer when it's sitting out in the sun collecting those rays. So really nice to see, and this panel should hold up for a long time. Now one downfall that I noticed on this panel is that there is no grommet holes in the corners for you to be able to hang this panel like there is on some of my other panels. That would have been nice to see holes so that you would be able to hang this. But one thing that I really love about this panel is how quick and easy it is to fold up. You can see here really quick, over twice as fast as folding up two smaller single individual panels. So you can have this thing set up or fold it up very quickly and easily, which is really nice and does save you a little bit of time. And deployment's pretty much the same way, quick and easy. Done, ready to go. Now on the back of the panel, you get three legs. I don't know why they left the leg off this one center panel. It would have been nice if there was a fourth leg on that because when it's set up, you could see how it droops down just a little bit. Not that big of a deal. Probably did it for cosmetic reasons when the panel's folded up for looks, but I would have loved to have seen a fourth leg there on that panel. And I love how the adjustability on these legs are. It has snaps and you can move that snap to adjust this leg at different angles here, which is really, really nice. I, that's the first panel I've seen with that design and I really like the way that that is set up. And I also love this pouch that's large enough to hold a lot of your cables and it has a water resistant zipper on it. So that's really nice to see. All right guys, so that's gonna be about it for my testing. In my opinion, I think the Blue Eddy PV200 did really well, slightly better than the two 120 watt all powers panels put together in parallel with some of my other solar generators. So very, very comparable, very similar. So now you guys gotta just decide whether you want one single panel or two separate panels to deal with. And let me know down below in the comments if you guys have one of these panels, how it's been performing for you, or if you have some other panels that you would recommend that you think would do really well and maybe outperform this one. So thanks for watching everyone. If you found this interesting and helpful, please consider leaving a comment down below because it really helps my channel out and consider subscribing so that I will see you guys around on the next one. Don't forget about the links down below if you're interested in ordering one so that it would help support the channel. Thanks again for everything and see you guys around on the next one. Whew.